Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to make a tutorial about 2D jump movement in Unity. So now I will show you an easy and quick way to create a movement and it's nice jump for your character in Unity. So without further ado, let's get started. For this video, I imported some tiles that we are going to use in our projects. Let's start. Let's adjust our scene for our player Santa theme to by his mood. First, we're going to click a uh, float. Inside the photo higher speed, we have sprite number 2. Drag it onto the scene and just resize it. And so I'll move our player Santa here to the center. And the next thing to do is the tile. So click with our floor here and go to the add components. Scan or search back collider 2D. So our 2D is already in our scene view. So it's good. So now let's create a tag for our floor. Go to add tag. So let's call it a ground. Now let's have a ground. So select our ground. Our floor is already configured ready to go so let's move to our player so let's add a background to just look better or you can import new assets as you can see our background is in front of our player so just your position go to sorting layer and select order in layer and set it in minus one so this way we can see our background behind our player so now let's start working with our player santa so to make it move we need two components box collider and rigid body let's add this by selecting santa here add components then first you need box collider and our rigid body 2d great job for our box collider here it looks a bit weird so we need to resize it let's click edit collider here and let's just resize it here for santa it looks a little bit better now let's jump it and locks perfect we have now our santa with the perfect box collider for his size and for the rigid body 2d i want to change this gravity scale here instead of one i make it three because that way it locks better when we jump and now everything is ready. First, we're going to create a script to mix our Santa move. We're gonna create a player controller. Click on add components, type player CTRL, and press it. Now, double click here to open script. Alright, let's do a code now. So now inside our script, let's first create a movement and then after you jump. So for that, I need first public float player speed. And now a private float move. And here, private rigid body, I will call it RB. And inside our start method, we need to get the component, the rigid body component. For our player, RB equals get component we gonna need a rigid body 2D. Just closed here. Perfect. Now we have the rigid body. And inside update first, we gonna get the input from the keyboard from the user. So move equal that input that get access horizontal capital H. For this, if we press E or left arrow, this variable gonna be minus 1. And we press D or right arrow, this variable gonna be 1. So now, we need to apply the velocity to our rigid body. So it's gonna be rb.velocity equals new vector 2. So position x axis and y axis. And on the... And on the y-axis, it's gonna be rb.velocity.y. So that means this value we won't change. Now let's check how it works. Let's go back to the unity. We now have the player speed. Let's give the value of 10 and let's test now. 
Now I have our player, he's animated on ideal animation. Anything we press E or D left and right, we can see our player movement now. For he's not animated and edited and even not changing the animation. So let's go back to the script and edit those. Back to our script, to change the right rigid value, if move less than zero transform dot Euler angles equals new Victor 3 0 180 and 0 else if move else if move more than 0 transform do Euler angles equals new Victor 3 and leave everything zero. Zero. That way, our character is gonna be able to face the in run. Now, let's start creating the jump. For that, we need two variables. We need a public float jump speed, then private ball is jumping. To make our player jump, we need to add force to our rigid body. Here, let's create and condition variables. So if input dot get button down, we gonna call the jump button, which it, which which in our rigid body in Unity, and jumping is false because we want him to be able to jump only once. Then rb dot add force new victor two. And we're gonna pass the x axis. It's gonna be the way it is. So rb.velocity.x. And on y axis, we're gonna add the jump speed. And now down here, we need is jumping equals true because we don't want him to be able to jump many times. For that, we need method on collision enter 2D. I'll rename the collision for other just the way it is work. And inside here, if other game object that compare tag, the tag we want is the one we created for the ground. For our floor, if we collide with sent with a tag ground, that means our player is in the floor. So it's jumping is equals false again because we're not jumping anymore. And let's save it here again. And let's test it on Unity. Here in Unity, I have the variable now in jump speed. Let's give the variable 600 and let's test now. We just see here now our player is jumping. And the jumping looks really good and nice. But it's not animated, so let's go back to the script and start with our transitions. Back in the script, I need to get the animator component from our player. So for that, I need a variable private animator, or I'll call it anim. And I need to get this component. So here in the start method under rb, we're gonna get this component. So anim equals get component animator. Now we need to create another method. So below on collision enter method, I'll create void run animations. And inside here, I need anim. Set float, set the value for float, which is movement. And the value of pass is mathf.abs and move. Or variable move which is gonna be 1 or minus 1 or with this math f maybe is is gonna be always 1 as we see it, our movement earlier it is greater than 0 dot 1 so it's gonna be 1 now so it's freedom animation and and for jumping anim that sit bull is jumping from our animator and to be able is jumping with just create from the script before it's jumping from the animator and the second one is from the script and now the most important thing is to call run animations inside our opd 
Don't forget that, otherwise it won't work. Save it and let's go back. Here in Unity, let's test now. And let's press play. We can see our animation is rigid perfect. But if you notice there's a bit up delay when you're switching on animations. So let's go inside here. Go back to the animator and on our transitions here, we have to go to the setting and transition directions. And now transitions, let's save this value to zero. After doing that, let's select our animations, jump and check here in lob time. Let's test again. Great. If you see now our animation is going perfect, our jump perfect, everything is running perfect. Amazing. So now this is how to move and jump our player. That's really awesome. So that's all guys. Hope this video helps you and thank you for watching. See you in my next one.